Billy. <clears throat> Billy, I'm going to just do a, a quick run through on this. Can't find my notes. I think they're at school. But this is how I do. I manage my time, uh, especially with projects. It's called uh, uh, Kaizen, but the little tool I use for doing it is called Kanban. So the first thing I do is set up three large categories. So this is what those categories look like. There's ready. These are the tasks that mm, you won't want to get done. And you, you can see it's empty. Doing. This is where you move stuff from the ready side to doing. And typically you only keep about three things in there at a time. Because as we all know, multitasking is a myth. And done. And you might think, well, if it's done, just erase it. No, it's really important psychologically to see the done category fill up. So, personal Kanban, ready, doing, done. I'm going to show you how I do this. <clears throat> okay. Now, I filled up my ready category. And you can put as much stuff in here as you want. Uh, and as you move stuff out, you can add more stuff to it. But just thinking about the priorities for the day, this is what I want to do. Uh, I've got some. I've got a video that I need to create show notes for on YouTube, and using a tool, uh, another tool called Vialog, to create a uh, uh, a comment uh, section for for that video. Uh, I need to do a couple of other items here. I'm working with the National Writing Project right now on their, on our uh, uh, connected learning, massively online course, which I highly recommend that you go to. Just Google C L M O O C C L M O C N W P, and you'll find it. But these are all the activities, not all of them, but but the ones that I can feel like I can legitimately work on today. And then there's my favorite thing, which would be garden work. So I'm going to show you what you need to do next with this. And please ignore all the roosters behind me. Okay. Now, you've seen that I've moved from this column, the ready column, over to the doing column. And here I want to do a remix. And here I want to work in my facilitating capacity. And down here in the garden, I want to do some watering. Because watering is so important when it gets dry this time of year. So, you notice I only have three tasks in there. Okay? Three tasks, meaning um, you, you don't, psychologically, if you have more than three things going at once, uh, it just gets on your nerves. It feels like there's pressure. With this, if you get tired of doing this, you go to this. If I get tired of sitting down all the time, I go down to here to work on my garden. And then the last category, Billy, is done. So, being done means that you, you know, you've moved You've moved the task from here over to here. And you say to yourself, well, that's kind of a waste of time. No, again, it's, it's psychological. And you and I both know, we all know, that crossing through the uh, item on a to-do list is satisfying. You don't have to do it. You know you've done it. Uh, but it's just good to mark it off. And then, of course, when you've got those done... You come back over to your list and you start working your way down through. Now there's all kinds of personal rules you can develop for what's most important and what's not. But basically this is how you do it. And I think what it does is it focuses you. Now sometimes you don't need to focus. You already know what you got to do. But this is a great tool for orienting yourself during the day. Or if you want to, you can do it the night before. Uh, and that way when you wake up in the morning and have your personal 
coffee, tea, water, whatever, you can hit the ground running. Okay, uh, I'm going to post this on YouTube, and I'll include some show notes for you. Of course, I didn't put that up here. I probably should have. All right. Thanks a lot for calling, Billy. And if you need any help today, just uh, give me a call. Thanks.